My name is Rebecca Zukaskis. I went to college at Marywood University and I've been living and working in the, here in the Valley for the past 12 years. I'm here today to talk about my daughter, Amelia Rose. Amelia is smart, funny, and the sweetest little girl you'll ever meet. Amelia, who we call Mia, also has autism. She'll turn four on Thursday. Like many parents, my husband and I never thought we'd have a child with a disability. Mia was diagnosed this past summer, and since then, like other parents of children with disabilities or serious medical conditions, we've become passionate advocates for our daughter's care, fighting battles she cannot fight to make sure she gets the services that she needs. Mia attends school at Wyoming Valley Children's Association, and she receives wonderful care there. That has really made a difference in her speech and other abilities. However, we were recently told she would benefit from additional speech therapy. Mia can sight read, she can say a lot of words, but she can't tell us when she doesn't feel well. She can't tell us when, what her day was like. We contacted John Hines to set up additional speech, speech therapy for Mia. And although we have excellent health insurance through my job, Medicaid ha Mia has Medicaid for her disability. The coordinator at John Hines said it was a good thing we had Medicaid because even our excellent insurance usually denies payment for the speech therapy Mia needs. Medicaid is the supplemental insurance that, my fam that helps my family pay for the care that Mia needs to grow and succeed in life and at school. Our story is not uncommon and there are many other families for which a block grant of Medicaid or a repeal of the expansion provided by the ACA would be even more devastating. A block grant of Medicaid would cut federal funding by $1 trillion over the next 10 years according to the Center on Budget and Policy Priorities. A full repeal of the ACA and a block grant of Medicaid would cut funding by $2.1 trillion. This would leave millions of people uninsured or underinsured. <laughs> Today I want to say to the Republican Congress, to Donald Trump, and especially to our Senator Pat Toomey, that cutting funds that cutting funds that provide services and health care to individuals with disabilities and children with serious medical conditions isn't just wrong, it is morally reprehensible. Protecting the health care of seniors, people with disabilities, and our children shouldn't be something you have to debate. P parents like me shouldn't lie awake at night worrying if their children's health services or health insurance will be defunded. And I want you to think of my daughter and the services you are denying her and millions of other children like her when you decide how to vote on the future of health care in this country. I'm just one voice in a sea of millions of parents who refuse to be silent, refuse to allow you to take away the health care our children need without a fight. We aren't just their advocates, we are their warriors. We fight for them every day and we won't stop now. We're going to keep protesting, keep rallying, keep calling and writing our representatives because they should be working for us. Not the other way around. You need to protect the ACA, Medicaid, and Medicare. Thank you. Thank you.